Hello, McDude here, and today we're going to be field testing lander technology in the KSP demo. Now, the lander technology in the game is pretty simple, but it's not something you want to figure out on the way to the moon. So, what I've done here is I've created a simple lander test vehicle that we're going to fly. It starts off with a command pod, an RCS fuel tank, uh, to give a vertical surface for the legs to attach to. I've attached four lander legs. Uh, I also attached uh, RCS thrusters in case I need them on the way down to avoid a, a hitting a, one of the buildings here at the Kerbal Space Center. Uh, the yellow and black striped uh, device is a decoupler. Below that is one of the small fuel tanks. And below that is the LVT-45 uh, engine. Uh, you'll notice that I, I don't have uh, an engine to la uh, for the lander itself. Uh, we're not going to land the, uh, the the lander propulsively, as the engines that are used for the landers are not powerful enough to give a soft landing here on Kerbin because the gravity is too great. They're fine for the moon, but not for Kerbin. Um, so we're going to be landing by means of a parachute. Uh, so now we go out to the launch pad and we start making preparations and we throttle up the engine you'll notice that Bill Kerman will be joining us for today's flight uh, we've already made amends for me uh, abandoning him out in the desert and in three two one <laughs> At 8,000 meters, we jettison the booster and uh, deploy the parachute. I then press G to deploy the landing gear legs. You can see some of my uh, junks of my space debris floating out in the ocean. Uh, it's uh, boosters or something. I'm not really sure what. Uh, also, you, if you look at one of the islands, you can see a bunch of lights on that island. And I always see them from uh, during night launches. I've been meaning to make a flight out there to check those lights out, see what that's all about. Somebody said that there's a runway out there. Uh, so, uh, I'm a little curious as to what, what's there. But for now, I uh, turn the camera around, move the nav ball out of the way, so we have an unobstructed view of the uh, landing site. We'll be needing the nav ball anymore tonight, today anyway. That's my booster down beneath me, generating some excitement. The rest of the landing is uneventful, so I'll speed the landing up just about four times, just till we touch down. After touchdown, I decided to send Bill out on EVA, and I quickly realized I forgot to mount a boarding ladder to the spacecraft. So uh, what we're going to try to do is uh, have Bill step down on top of the landing leg and see if he can slide slide down. Here he goes. First step landing leg goes fine, and he gracefully lands on his nads and slides off the leg. Uh, I seem to recall my dog doing something like that. So anyway, I, uh, Bill moves around a few times, does a couple of pirouettes, uh, tries to figure out how to, if it's possible, to climb back up that leg and get back in the command pod. Uh, it's not. Uh, so, uh, 
of we did accidentally discover that there's uh, just perfect head clearance for Bill to walk underneath the spacecraft. And uh, that's when I realized this would be a great photo. So, uh, and we need a mission photo anyway. So come on, Bill. Go ahead and pose for a mission photo for us. Get in position there. Come on. Move the camera around a little bit. There's a nice angle. That's a nice mission photo. Maybe get a little bit closer here. Adjust the camera a little bit. Come on, Bill. Here we go. Here we go. All right. That's a nice close. That's a great mission photo. The test of the Ares 11 lander test probe, test craft. So, with that mission done, our day, a hard day's work behind us, we head back to the Space Center. Moving on, we have the Ares 12 lander test rocket. This incorporates both the fixed ladder as well as the robotic ladder. To make room for this, I added a second RCS tank, rearranged the landing gear legs, and I added a larger fuel tank for no justifiable reason. So, to the launch pad. Main engine throttle up. Let's light this candle. So after a short flight, this time I only went up to about 4,000 meters before I punched off the booster and um, deployed the parachute and the gears, um, we find ourselves on the way back. These landers are not exactly what I wanted for a, a test lander. What I wanted was something like this. This is a lunar landing research vehicle. It utilized a main engine that compensated for five-sixths of the vehicle's weight because the gravity of the moon is one-sixth that of the Earth. Uh, it then used a variety of smaller engines to, to simulate the lunar landing module's main engine and reaction control thrusters. Uh, the initial vehicle had these caster wheels on it. They gave it a little bit of room to roll around on the runway. Um, was something I think would have been useful on the surface of the moon. But instead, they decided to go with these pogo stick uh, type gears, which were similar to the, the landing gear, closer to the landing gear that they had on the moon, which didn't give any give. Uh, it didn't have any give. Uh, which didn't really allow for any lateral drift, which is something I never quite understood. Uh, but anyway, uh, as I mentioned, the craft was very difficult to fly, uh, very difficult to handle, very unstable. Uh, of the five that were built, three were crashed. Um, all three pilots were saved by the use of an ejection seat, and including uh, Neil Armstrong, who uh, lost his craft, and this is the photo of, uh, of the crash here. Uh, but later successfully landed uh, a lunar module on the moon. Anyway, uh, getting back to our craft, we are steadily descending towards the um, uh, Kerbal Space Center. Uh, like I said, I, I, I would like to build something similar to the lunar landing research vehicle. I don't believe it can be done within the demo. 
but it is something I would like to do. There's my boosters hitting uh, the front lawn of the Space Center. Um, but it is something I would like to do, at least in the full version. The full version might have uh, all the components necessary. I've been going to the wiki, uh, trying to figure out the differences, the exact differences between the um, uh, the gravity on uh, the Mun versus the gravity on uh, Kerbin. Um, and I I haven't quite figured that out yet. Um, anyway, after speeding up the uh, landing cycle a little bit, we um, we go ahead. I figure out how to extend the ladder, which um, drills into the ground a little bit. Okay. We'll then have um, Bill EVA for us. He comes out on the top. I'll have him climb down the ladder. Goes down the both the static ladders as well as the uh, robotic ladder. Does a little dance for us. Thank you, Bill. Um, I then have him uh, back off a little bit. And then I'll have him go back and climb up the ladder a little bit. Just to prove that this stuff works. Like I said, I don't want any surprises when I get to the moon. I just realized this thing only has three gears. I thought I had four. Anyhow, uh, that wraps up our mission. We now know how the ladders work, now the gears work. Uh, we can make a lander. Um, so, there's nothing left to do but walk back to the astronaut lounge and grab some lunch. <laughs>